Christmas. Maybe you got some stocking in your coal. Maybe an elf took a dump in there. Who knows, but we're here to cheer you up with some good news for number six with cheese. 10% off all number six with cheese store items. Just go to number six with cheese.com and take advantage this week and this week only. I have to tell everyone here that you just said, did you get some stocking in your coal? <laughs> I didn't even notice it. What if you were so bad and Santa put you on the naughty list that he didn't even give you, he stuffed your stocking in a bunch of coal? God, yeah, what a uh, dick. That'd be weird. Uh, today we're going to Waswan uh, in the West Loop. Uh, I think it's in like the Politan Row building right by International McDonald's. Uh, they have like, Corey just uh, showed me this place. It's crazy. They got a bunch of amazing looking like Indian sandwiches and burgers. So we each picked off something the web off the website we thought looked good and uh, we're gonna try it out today. So a little crazy like Indian spot. Uh, come along and uh, hope to God that Santa doesn't put stockings in your car. <laughs> guys that took a little while we figured it out two uh, sandwiches from Waswan acquired jump cut all right Corey Wagner second angle all right Waswan here's the sandwich we got we're gonna go super quick because we got two things to show you the buns looking great if we open it up boom there's some onions there's some green stuff there's some bacon there's some chicken under there and uh, it's gonna be delicious there's cheese too hope it's good me too all right here's mine this is the bun there's the sauce Ooh, that sauce is supposed to be spicy that's supposed to be some uh, special bacon we got down there I'm not really sure what it is under that we got some cheese then we got some fried chicken um, there's the fried chicken and then there's some carrots and stuff and then something else I don't know God you're a food genius <laughs> all right we got some Wazwan sandwiches here also chicken. I said yeah I said his is chicken because I didn't know what I was looking at that's a burger <laughs> yeah it's all kind of melding together anyways all right chicken burger cheers cheers mmm oh my god oh man wow this is really good it's so weird having an Indian burger. Yeah, this is amazing. Like in a good way. Whoa, this is like flavor explosion. So basically I was looking for Indian food and before I get roasted in the comments, like I know Devon is where we need to go for like real Indian food. Yeah. But when I was looking, I saw this like wild place that does Indian food chicken sandwiches and I instantly thought of Bites and we went there yeah. and got the General Sal's chicken sandwiches. Like, oh, I love this like unique turning a, a, a genre of food into a sandwich. What's next, spaghetti sandwich? I, I'm down for a spaghetti sandwich. Some spaghetti fritters? Somebody somebody out there is like, yeah, it's called a meatball sandwich, you dumb piece <laughs> of trash. Hey, so, you know, it's our show. You're the idiot. <laughs> also, this is very number six with cheese though, like a sandwich in a car, like we do car reviews. If I'm eating like a big tray of Indian food, I really personally don't want to be eating it off my lap. What? I'm sorry to hear that because I'm still going to make you do that because I'm definitely, <laughs> I, I will love do it, Indian yeah. food mm -hmm. I'm definitely going to have traditional Indian food mm -hmm. at some point while we're here. So my apologies, but this is just seemed unique, but you're going to have to suck it up. <laughs> I'll definitely still enjoy I it. I love Indian food. It's so, so yeah, the, like the Waz, the Waz Wanimal Burger. I love that name. Mm. But yeah, Chapley Kebab, mm. said it wrong probably, mint serrano chutney and pickle red onion. Like what a cool explosion of flavor. Yeah, it's got like a weird sauce on it that I dig. Mm -hmm. I mean, I got special bacon on mine. It's like halal bacon or oh, something. Oh man. Very unique. Wow. I've never put our hot sauce on Indian food yet. Oh, I want to do unless that. Unless I've done it like in a brew interview. I'm going to try it. Look at that health, healthy, that healthy line of six or sauce. That's how you got to do it every bite, if and when. Mm. It just goes with everything. You're dead on. Think of all the different things we put on pizza, sandwiches. That's all I can think of. Breakfast, chicken. Indian food, crappy frozen food, like it makes food better that sucks. Yeah. There's a lot of different foods, but we're just a little di uh, distracted right now. Mm -hmm. One last vlog to pitch these guys and then we're all caught up. I went to the, did you watch this one yet? I went to the world's most beautiful cemetery on Halloween. I don't think I watched that one yet. The world's most beautiful cemetery mm -hmm. is supposedly right up in my neighborhood. Did you know that? I did not know that. Wait until you see the, the thumbnail. It's gorgeous. It's amazing. Look at this. So this is one of the grave uh, stones we wanted to come to. Today is Ernie Banks. 
AJ, good eye. I can't it's, wait to watch it. And it's the person, the thumbnail, you're gonna see this big column. Like imagine getting uh, buried just like in a cathedral. Yeah, I think about it often. I guess he's the guy who developed State Street. <laughs> What an accolade. Which for Chicago people. Um, but like Ernie Banks is buried there. I saw yeah. Ernie Banks' uh, oh, that's amazing. tombstone and stuff. So, mm -hmm. crazy place. Yes. Yeah. Supposedly haunted too by ghost wolves. So, think wow. about that. <laughs> Went on Halloween. It was fun. Mm -hmm. um, State Street, by the way, even sang about in that Frank Sinatra Chicago song. Mm -hmm. On State Street, that great street. Mm -hmm. Also, Frank Sinatra loved to drink. Mm -hmm. My segues are getting better. They are. Oh, it's the booze. <laughs> They're guiding your actions in just the right way. Anything that's, a, that's not Malort sucks. Booze is one of those things, it always is helping you until it's not. And it's a pretty quick, you ever played beer pong? You'd be like, man, I'm killing it right now. Killing it. Booze is really, mm -hmm. and the next thing you know, mm -hmm. you're throwing up in your printer. Yeah, and you can't even see the cups because you're <laughs> on the floor. Man, that was one of the most unique flavors. That really reminds me of Bites. That's like, mm -hmm. The second most unique sandwich I've had in maybe my life. That was so good. Wow. I mean, you think you've had all the burgers in the world. <laughs> That's what I'm thinking. Like, I'm how many like, different variations are there? Really? I've had every kind of burger. Like, I, obviously not every burger, but every, like, flavor palette, right? Yep. And then they go, hold my beer. Wow, that was so, like, I've been saying this a lot lately. It's my new favorite adjective to describe food meat. Mm -hmm. That was so satisfying. Yeah. Like New was, word? Did you get that in a word of day I just calendar? Said, you, no, no. You, you weren't familiar with I don't, I never, satisfied yet? <laughs> no, no, no. I never used to describe food as like satisfying. Like that whole, uh, every bite, the way it was like constructed, nothing was falling off of it, but there was so much flavor. Like the entire experience, Corey, word of the day. <laughs> satisfying. Satisfying. Oh. oh, when you're done with that trash, can you not just stuff it in my door? Yeah, I got a text me this and, weekend me from Me and my Kylie. wife went on a ride chick. What the hell is going on over I here? know, I go, it's my work, I, it's my office. I, I, go, I <laughs> I'm she like, sent me three piggy noses. <laughs> a little piggy! And then crying, <laughs> laughing face, and there's a photo of the door down here. <sighs> She's a Your real wife bro. <laughs> called me a pig. I'm sitting there enjoying my Sunday. Hey, yeah, piggy, good. clean your up! <laughs> mm. Just Water. smell this. I know you can't because you're, you're driving, you can't drink any. What's that smell like? What fruit? I don't smell fruit. You don't smell fruit? It's a, a fruit flavored uh, whiskey. Oh. They do that? Speaking of UFC, God, that this, sucks. this whiskey, this thing I've listen, ever listen, Dana White, Dana White's brand of whiskey. <laughs> I don't give a shit. That <laughs> makes it not <laughs> because Dana White is so like, oh, <laughs> Yeah, yeah, call back, um, you know what I mean? Yeah, no, good try to save yourself on that. <laughs> you you want to smell my, my nice fruity little whiskey here? It's very manly, Dana White likes it. It's His Dana. first name's Dana. He's got a lady's a first name. Yeah, that's true, Dana White. This so is what his, do you mean? This I don't, is, the, the, can I get those fruit out of that, my mouth? That lady, that lady man ain't gonna tell me that this fruit whiskey is a main thing to drink, all right? Dana whiskey, Dana White's whiskey is banana whiskey. Isn't that weird? I'm bored by you. <laughs> I'm bored by Dana White, bro. <laughs> I couldn't even get my, I couldn't, I couldn't get there and then I finally get the chance you go, no, nope, I'm bored. Uh, couldn't have worked out any better for me and yeah. worse for you. I'm very aware, Corey Wagner. Uh, let's do a shout out. Pilot shout out, pilot shout out, pilot shout out. That's right, ladies and gentlemen, the pilot series is coming. It's only a yes! couple weeks away, January 5th, 12th, 19th. Me and your boy, Sean, We've got some excellent uh, acting and pilots and awesomeness and hilarity coming on Twitch. Uh, go to twitch.tv forward slash number six with cheese to watch it. Also, I just created a Facebook event. It's kind of dumb. The Facebook events, you used to be able to make reoccurring events so I could have it three weeks in a row. Mm -hmm. And they don't have that option now, but they did COVID. change it and make COVID. it cool. They changed it. So I, I, I don't know, but it's going to be three weeks in a row, uh, 7.30 Central, so 8.30 Eastern. Tune in. They're all really funny. Um, the first one, uh, we're uh, teachers and we get into some wild shenanigans. Yeah. If uh, it syncs up with the rest of Corey's writing, which I've read the script, it does, uh, it's not very PC. Oh yeah, don't <laughs> so let your kids watch it. If you it. have baby ears, uh, skip that one, and then probably the next two as well. <laughs> we skip all of them. If you like actual good oh. comedy, uh, and you're not like, oh, that's really inappropriate, uh, tune in, dude. Yeah. It's gonna be a blast. Yeah, anywho, back to this show. <laughs>
All right, let's go ahead and rate um, the, you had a chicken sandwich, I had a Wawazana animal burger. Out of five animals from the Muppets, how many animals from the Muppets do you give, uh, you had the chicken sandwich, the, um, what was it called, the, what'd you give it? Uh, let's see. <laughs> Man, I'll tell you what, I thought it was really tasty. Um, it was super interesting. I'm trying to think of exactly what I got. I, I think there's better chicken sandwiches out there. But it's yeah. so unique and delicious that I definitely think it's worth a try, especially mm -hmm. if you want to see like, I mean, I was curious, what's an Indian food chicken sandwich taste like? Right. So for that, like, it's really good. But like I said, I personally still like a more traditional, like the Lucy's chicken sandwich. Um, but I don't know, man, I'm gonna give them a ton of bonus points for trying something new and innovative and different. So I'm gonna give that a 4.25. Very, very good story. Yeah, that's pretty much like exactly what I was thinking about the burger. Like, it's not the best burger I've ever had, but the uniqueness and the fact that like this is so close to my apartment, I'm gonna give points to now because I'm selfish, dude, and <laughs> you can deal with it. Um, I just, this was like, we've been doing this thing where because we're doing more local videos, we don't know what the other one is picking. Yeah. So you go into it, it's a surprise, and that was such a fun surprise. Yeah, I knew you were gonna love that one. It feels like I turned 21 again, and all my frat brothers bought me shots, and then I woke up in my printer. <laughs> That's probably from the booze lost from the burger, but. <laughs> <laughs> oh, right. Um, that was just so fun and good, and I loved all the Indian flavors do work on a burger. I didn't, yeah. I would have never thought that. Yeah, it was, man, once again, remind me of the bite situation. Yeah, I was like, dude. really? Huh. Chutney, right? You kidding me? Get more chutney. 4.25 as well. Wow. I like that wow. score. I was gonna go four and then you're editing it and I just made it easier for you. There you go. I can just do a quick <laughs> That's copy, a copy and paste. That's a copy and paste, my dude. All the editors right now who are watching this video, the two of just you that understand that just, oh! uh, Yeah, just diddling. That's unfair that he did it that way though because like he's just making it easy for his friend. Like he was gonna say four. <laughs> yeah. Okay. <laughs> Suck it. <laughs> it's our show, dude. Literally, we can do whatever we want. If one week we wanted to just review every flavor of Tic Tac, you'd have to deal with it. Yeah. I mean, they might not have to watch it, but it's gonna beat your ass, dude. See that? See that? You see that speed? Oh, didn't even see him come. <laughs> Guys, we'll see you tomorrow. Uh, me and the Flash with the stash. Are gonna... oh. That's the new nickname. The Flash with the stash, dude. Me and Corey will be back. <laughs> Did you just try to force Look how much own... slower mine was. You, you just come up with a nickname and then be like, that's so good. Yeah, because I knew front. I wasn't getting crap for you, dude. <laughs> that nickname sucks. <laughs> that you're as, never going to talk. Oh, what'd you call me the other day? Yeah, boy. What'd, you, what'd you call me the other day? Something beef. Like, remember, we, we came up with oh, another yeah. I edited it and I can't even think of it. Human beef curtain. <laughs> <laughs> uh, guys, tomorrow, we're, are you okay? Tomorrow, also eating another chicken sandwich. <laughs> I love chicken sandwiches. <laughs> we're going to uh, Crazy Bird. Never heard of it, I'm excited. If it's not crazy good, it's not crazy birds. Oh, is that really the <laughs> yeah, tagline? It's, just, it's on the sign. Oh, uh, I love or something it. like that. So we'll see you tomorrow for another chicken sando. And if you're a vegan, um, these videos don't have any calories or meat in them. So you, yeah. can all, you can still watch. Yeah, but by watching them, you are technically in like a weird way supporting us to go kill more chickens. Yeah, so, PETA would be mad at you. Yeah, live with that on your conscience. I'm the one eating it. Ow! <laughs>